What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Friday, April 25th, 2025. Well, we have a few things to talk about today, and one of them is my new website. After having Monday's video removed from YT and receiving a strike, I thought I'd take a little time to finish a project I've been trying to get done for months. And a big thanks to Noreen for helping me get this project finished, and I'll leave a link in the YouTube description box. So go get your official Alaska Skywatcher gear at alaskaskywatcher.com. Alright guys, the UK announces a $60 million plan to dim the sun. Something many of us have been watching and documenting for more than a decade. And we've already seen the effects of solar geoengineering around the world. Solar radiation management can and has altered jet streams and weather patterns. We've seen the decline in the health of our forests and we can see the decline in our own backyards from poor gardens, lack of bees and migratory birds. And because of solar geoengineering, we have seen and can feel an increase of unhealthy doses of ultraviolet radiation. Without sunlight, photosynthesis will cease as plants rely on sunlight to convert carbon dioxide into organic matter for energy and the release of oxygen. With the loss of plant life, the food chain would collapse and most animals, including humans, will starve. Solar geoengineering also poses a real threat of volcanic winter, covering the world in a layer of sulfur dioxide and aluminum. Mother Nature will fight back. I can't help but think of the movies Hunger Games and Geostorm. The world's powers seem to be planning a very dark future for mankind. Let's listen to David Keith talk about solar geoengineering and its consequences. This is a really important moral point. So if I made a decision or if there was a collective decision to do a geoengineering program and you put, say, uh, the kind of program I think makes more sense to put about a million tons a year in, but let's say, you might end up killing many tens of thousands of people a year as a direct result of that decision. I think that has moral consequences. I don't sweep it under the rug. So this is a case where I take this much differently from Alan and think it's a much more serious issue. Now, it's true that as part of doing that, you would hope that the overall benefits of human mortality would be so that you would save many, many more people than that. But the fact that you uh, would save more people than you kill doesn't mean there's no moral impact of making a decision that directly kills people. And I think that we who talk about this have a duty to be clear-eyed about the, the direct risks involved in doing it. The most dangerous piece of fiction ever created is the climate narrative. These dark occult scientists have been burning down forests since the late 1800s under the guise of geoengineering exploding atomic and nuclear weapons in the name of peace. And now they're blocking out the sun, admitting it will kill people. The climate is not changing. The climate is being engineered. The trails you see in the sky above you have many purposes, including the creation of virtual antennas and artificial ionospheric mirrors. By heating specific gases in the atmosphere and using microwaves and trillion watt lasers, and I've covered this in previous videos, but when you look up in the sky, you just might see dozens of these round clouds. That is weather warfare. Now we've covered this story before, but let's go through it one more time. Chinese scientists develop an electromagnetic vortex cannon, and I believe this is the same technology that we see in Nexrad. Electromagnetic acoustic waves are waves that can be both electromagnetic and acoustic in nature. Acoustic waves can generate wind by creating extra pressure in the atmosphere, also known as wave pressure. The amount of pressure depends on the density and the amplitude of these waves. And I think this is what we're seeing in these radar returns. Now let's take a look at the Nexrad Mosaic radar. We've covered the blue pulses and we can see them here, and we know that is electromagnetic radiation, and electromagnetic radiation is a central component of weather modification. Now let's talk about these beams for a moment. In Nexrad is a klystron vacuum tube that generates and amplifies high-powered microwave signals for radar transmission. This is accomplished by using an electron beam interacting with radio waves. This interaction converts the electron beam's kinetic energy into amplified radio waves, essentially pumping power into a storm system. And they can also cross these beams to create a heat or a cold bomb. These same beams can heat up a mesocyclone and create tornado formation. CERN also utilizes this very same technology. 
I saw a report this morning talking about a 60% increase in drastic temperature swings. Once again, this is not climate change, but rather climate engineering. And recently, we talked about the increase in wind and how multiple states have broken their all-time wind records. And once again, we can chalk this up to geoengineering. So here are a couple photos of solar geoengineering. The first photo was sent to me by John Derby. Thanks, John. And I also saw this post in Alaskans Against Chemtrails. And she says she's never seen it this bad before. But it's been that bad or worse in Alaska and I've photographed the Alaskan skies for years. Many folks are just waking up to what has been happening for decades. And it's not just our skies that are being engineered. It's our food, our water, our medicine, and our society is being engineered. And if we don't put a stop to it now, there will be nothing left to save. Alright guys, wildfire season and hurricane season are upon us once again, and these days it seems like it's just one big event after another. So make sure you're prepared, have backup power, have plenty of water, extra food, your medical supplies, have a plan. After all, this is the not so great, great reset. I'd like to thank Patrick Rakowski and the Facebook subscribers for helping to support the work and make these videos possible. Much love and many thanks. Make sure to check out my new website and grab yourself some official Alaska Skywatcher gear. Okay, Skywatchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.